Welcome back to How's How To's. Today I'm going to change the oil in my Yamaha F90LA2012. I have a nice little trick with this. Might help you guys out. So let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is trim your motor all the way up. Then take a 14 millimeter socket, slip it in there, let it loosen out. and loosen it up. Here's where a nice little trick comes in. When your motor's tilted all the way up, the oil won't come out of the hole. So you can take the plug out without getting oil all over yourself. Plugs up. If you guys recognize this little piece here, it is the fill tube for hydraulic steering how you put the hydraulic fluid into your steering it just so happens it fits in this hole so you can just screw it in then all you have to do is trim down your motor and oil will come out while that is draining i'll just come over go ahead and change the filter So while the oil is draining, I go ahead, take the filter off, put the new one on. You wanna make sure to oil your O-ring for many reasons, but the main reason it's salt water and you wanna get it off again. So that's it, put some oil around the washer, spin it on, hand tight. Take note of how many hours you have on the motor, write it, on your filter. Manual says 100 hours. That's synthetic oil. I run conventional. I need a little bit thicker oil with an aging engine, different things. So I change mine every 50 hours. So I write the current, write the date, write the mileage or hours that I change the oil. All right, tilt your motor back up when the oil's done draining. Unscrew it. Now replace your drain plug, making sure to put a new crush washer on. I mean, personally, do as I say, not as I do. I don't always replace that crush washer. You don't have to every time, but it is a very good idea. So you wanna make sure your engine is level when you fill it back up with oil. So trim it down, put a little level there now we can check when we check our oil levels they'll be accurate so on the back of the engine it tells you what type of oil you can put and how much it takes so with the filter change this takes 3.9 us quarts almost four quarts and it can do 530 1030 and 10w40 i'm going to do 10w40 she's got a few hours on her and this is a very hot environment so i'm going to go with as thick oil as they recommend and that's this part's pretty straightforward take the yellow cap off got a gallon four quarts equal a gallon a yamaha lube 10w40 so when you put the oil in you never want to use the whole four quarts i know it's tempting but number one you did not get all of the oil out of the oil pan like you think you did in the system and number two 3.9 quarts they're not always accurate. So I put about three and a half quarts in. Stop, let it sit, and then I check my oil level. See if I need to add from there. Dip six dry, so I'll add some more oil. So it's almost to the bottom. I like to fill it up halfway. Give me a little bit of a buffer zone. So needs a little bit more oil. This time it's probably gonna take all of it. There we go, halfway up the stick. That's where I like it. This is uh, too low line. This is the full line. I like it halfway in between. It's better to be too low than too much oil. You'll wash out your bottom cylinder. It's a technical term. It means that too much oil will get around the rings and piston and they'll go away. 
that's it. That's how I change my oil. I'm by no means a professional mechanic for outboards. I'm just a guy that has been guiding for 20 years and I have to fix my own things and it seems to work. I have a ridiculous amount of hours on this motor. But follow my instructions at your own risk. That's it. Thank you.